another sponsored match. This one is a best of three between Yuck and Scan. <laughs> I know I've been casting a lot of Scan games lately. He was kind enough to do a bunch of sponsored matches here as I kind of wait for the next uh, bigger league to throw onto the YouTube channel. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Please subscribe and hit that notification button. Uh, I, I love that people like to watch Brood War games still. Uh, these are all pro gamers, and I get a new game every single day, uh, which is a load of fun. Okay, so, yuck. Uh, he's in pretty darn good shape. He's been up near the top of the ladder for a while now. Uh, he did qualify for ASL Season 12. We'll see how well he can end up doing in that. Um, but yeah, I think yuck. Uh, definitely a tough match, and he has a wide range of play. Like... He's, I think people think of him as more aggressive Zerg, and he generally does play pretty aggressively, but honestly, his macro play is really strong as well. Uh, but what will he bring here? I would imagine some aggression. It's really kind of what he falls back on uh, when things matter. For Scan, uh, he has quite a wide range as well. Definitely likes uh, bio openers, but more recently, he's been liking 1-1-1s against Zerg as well. That's one racks, one fact, uh, one... A starport where you rush up into like some anti muta, whether that's uh, you know, cloaked wraith or Valkyrie or uh, science vessel, and then you kind of tech down where it's like, okay, now we're getting stim and, and plus one and all that good stuff. Not, I don't think it's likely that we'll see him go mech at all, though. Now, let's see, he's sending out the scout, and are we getting no, there's no gas being made, he's queued up SCVs, so. Looks like it's going to be a bio opener for him. He is going to scout over here first. Kind of interesting, actually, that he's going in this direction. Uh, normally, you actually would send the SCV to the north. But goes towards bottom right. Yeah, and he's going to be able to scout that that is, in fact, a hatchery. First, he's going to feel completely safe. Uh, he did already start the second depot, but that's completely fine. Drone going to come up. And yeah, Scan just going to go ahead and try to expand. Of course, he's going to be watching very carefully or exactly when the gas is mining, exactly when uh, Hyuk wants to go for, uh, you know, his, his lair. That's kind of the most important thing you're looking for in early game Terran versus Zerg. As far as the Zerg perspective, it's like you want to see the, the timing of the command center, basically. This is a standard timing of the command center. His drone already came up and verified no gas, so there's nothing tricky going on, at least as of yet. So the pool pops open. And there's the lair at about 254. Scans SCV could see that. So he's going to basically play accordingly and make sure he has his missile turrets ready for when those mutas pop out. But of course, it's not always mutas. Sometimes you will see Zerg players go for uh, like to hatch lurker. In fact, recently it's been more popular, which is kind of crazy. We'll see if Hyuk wants to go for a move like that. But first, he's got to get rid of the SCV, which is <laughs> in and of itself very difficult to do against a, a fellow pro. So this CV just kind of gliding through for now. He's got to keep that alive. Comes out of that main base. And this is a good way to kind of check how many lings they have, right? Like how many drones are actually at the natural. You can count and just be like, all right, there's not that many lings. I don't need a bunker as of yet. Uh, SCV coming back. And did he actually send another SCV? Yeah, he sent it up and around. Cool. And these Marines coming out to make sure that this SCV can get home with its minerals and just stay alive in general. Academy on the way now. Oh, interesting. Okay, so the Academy started just before four minutes, which is important. That's like an Academy rush timing generally. There's a possibility we see Scan move out very quickly this game. The Zergling Speed going to be finishing relatively soon here. Spire on the way, and yeah, just glides right through. Hmm. Okay, well... Not uh, not too bad of a scout, honestly. Gets to see everything he really needs. Now, the engineering bay should be starting in the next 30 seconds. We have a decent amount of marines. Oh, this is a funny move from Scan. Yuck is actually sending quite a few lings across the map. Only four... Like, if he gets on top of these right away... Okay, Scan pulls back. This is This is a very sneaky move from Scan. Let's see what he can actually get done with it. Third hatchery in the main base's way. We'll, uh, by the way, uh, we'll talk about that in a moment. 
Look at this. He's actually going to go into the natural, start targeting down drones. Gets two drones immediately here. What a move from Scan. Totally catching him off guard. In the meantime, we do have those lings coming up. Scan with the drill. He is going to stop that from doing any real damage to him. He holds on beautifully and has gotten so many kills over here. He killed three drones, it looks like, which is just massive. At this point in the game, three mutas are being made. He's coming up, going to trade with these uh, lings as best he can. Oh my god, this was just magnificent from Scan. Look at that, he killed almost every Zergling. Three drones, hiccups the mutas, hiccups the gas uh, production. I mean, this is this is big news for Scan. Now he's going up to four barracks. He's throwing down his missile turrets. That's the only thing that's really missing for him right now is those turrets being completed. So we'll see if he gets those up in time to block the mutas. There's not that many, though. You know, when you put on that type of pressure... Your opponent has to make some things right away. And if you're hitting right before the uh, mutas are out, I mean, what are two mutas going to do? They're not going to deny that much. Maybe they'll slow down this one turret for a second, but that's about it. Another muta comes in and joins. Scan going to push those mutas back for now. All right. Not that many turrets out yet. Uh, which is fine. He's gone for barracks play, and the amount of pressure he's already put on, uh, I think he can continue to do that. But there is a decent amount of mutas coming out, so a lot of damage could be dealt to scan here. If Yuck flies in, like one turret, seven mutas can just massacre. In fact, they can skip the turret and just kill SCVs. But this force has to be dealt with. He's making sunks, but they're a little bit late. Okay, he comes in. And the Bioforce, ooh, he hems and haws a little bit. Ooh, this is a good moment, I think, for Yuck. Definitely making up a little bit of ground. Gets in, gets rid of that turret. He's going to start picking off SCVs. And you can see the Bioforce stimming back. This is best case scenario for Yuck. Uh, Scan started to pull the trigger, realized he wasn't going to be able to against the Sunkins and has to turn around. So he's actually lost a lot of SCVs right now. Really, you should have more than 30, and he has 25. So the Muta's flying up into the natural now, dealing more damage there as well. Having a very hard time pushing these out. They dive back into the main base. Oh my god. Yuck is dealing so much damage right now. The Muta's now going to fly out. And I tell you what, 22 drones against 21 SCVs. This is a Yuck favored game. Starting to re-drone up now with those three hatcheries. He does have good production, sending some more Mutalisks out onto the map. Scan has a lot of bio, though. This is the one thing that's really, really good for him. Uh, his plus one's going to finish relatively soon. He has a good amount of medics, four medics. I see almost two groups of marines. There's a possibility he can do a counterpunch that really hurts Hyuk. But Hyuk going to be busy here still with these mutas. Flies in, denies that turret for a moment. Ooh, a little bit of a misclick there on the mutalist micro. Going to kill this turret off and fly out. Loses just one muta during this. Of course, every uh, stim using up some of that medic energy as well. Looks like we do have a drone in the top right ready for another base. Mutas flying back towards the main. Ooh. Let's see what these mutas can get done this time. Fly in once again here. Picking off quite a few SCVs. SCV count very, very low. The triple turret, I like that placement. He kind of flanks against them with the Marines coming from the natural. But the damage continues to be dealt. Yuck has more workers than Scan, and Scan doesn't have any additional tech. I think that's a big problem here as well, right? Like, he doesn't he's doesn't even have a factory started. So it's hard for him to get anything other than Marine Medic at this point, which I think is basically the call. He's going to move out with a mass amount of plus one Marines and Medics. There is the Lurker upgrade on the way. I think as the Lurker upgrade finishes and he actually gets Lurkers up, that's where it's going to become pretty much impossible for Scan to make any headway without any science vessels or anything. He, again, does not have a factory started. So this is his moment. He might be able to bust here. The moment of truth for Scan. Yuck has a lot of mutas here. A whole group of 11. Some lings coming out to help as well. Four sunks. I think he's just got to go. You got to pull this trigger. All right, here we go. Stims in. 
Let's see if he can break through. The Ling's coming up. The Mutas microing heavily here. I think the Mutas are doing a fantastic job thus far, but the Marines break through the first two Sunkins. The other Sunkins getting very, very low. Another rally reinforcement here of Marines. Oh my god, are we going to have Scan just barely break through before he's out of this game? It is so close right now. Can he get that final damage done? The Lurker's not yet ready, and Scan runs by. He's going to start gunning down these drones. The drone's falling left and right. The Lurker's pop out. Where's the Scan? Where's the Scan? There it is. He pops both of them, and I think that's it. GG. Scan wins game one.